Okay, let's do it. Yellow dress, I think, wins, right? Yeah. So let's put you right in the... Excited to sort of get get you know the fans' reactions and stuff to it. There is a, a power struggle. That goes Magic City is a uh, is a very delicious gangster show that's set in Miami in the late 1950s, um, and it's about a wealthy hotel owner who um, finds himself sort of blindsided by his partner who's this very dangerous gangster and it becomes a struggle to sort of keep his family safe and out of the darker dealings of, of what his business um, brings. I'm Kelly Lynch from Magic City and you're watching The Take on Stars. Excellent, thank you. Well, you know, my husband, Mitch Glazer, is the showrunner, and this has been a story that I have lived with through him, you know, for the 20 years we've been together. It was a movie, it was a, it was a show on an, another network, actually, and, the, and uh, it needed to be on pr a premium cable because there's so much of the story. It's also very erotic, it's, you know, it's very violent, there's gangsters, you know, and it really found the perfect home at Stars and, and of the power struggle between them and owning the hotel is more of an issue now, you know? I just love M Mitch's passion, his energy. I love the other actors involved. Like, um, I'm Cuban. My parents were both born in Cuba, left during the revolution. So it has a lot of, like, family ties to me, like Mercedes' storyline. And I felt like it was sort of like the stars aligned and there was a reason why, like, this part was in front of me to, you know, tell this story for my grandmothers and, like, the people in my family that sort of went through this. And, um, and he, I knew he was going to tell it right. Of debauchery and deception can we expect from this season? Well, uh, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know him before. <laughs> In fact, when I saw him for the first time, he looked so terrifying. I told, I went to Mitch and I said, "That guy, I know he's." It was before we started shooting. I said, "That guy uh, is Danny Houston, right? I know he's in our show." I wanted to say hi to him, but I'm afraid to come up because he looks so he looks so mean. And he said, "Danny, he's not mean at all." I was like, "Wow, I think he's in character," and I can't, I just can't approach him. I said, "I'm sorry." He's like, "Come on, come on, I'll, t I'll, you know, I'll introduce you." I couldn't speak to him. I was like, he looks terrifying. I thought he was mean in real life. He's not. <laughs> Love yellow. I like to just get it. You guys need a break. Shut up. You know when you're ready? Okay. Well, unfortunately, I don't really get to work with with, with Olga. Occasionally, we, we're in the same lobby at the same time. But uh, uh, Mitch has been quite protective of her character, as he should be. Uh, doesn't necessarily want wanting her to hang out with, with Ben Diamond, uh, for, for good reason, I'm sure. Free to go completely wild, and and, and that's what that was the idea was to was to use the, the history of the time. So do you think you inspired Olga and Danny? You know, I think I do. I mean, I did. I think I feel like I mean I don't know whether he'll say it, but but uh, and God knows, you know, relationships are a strange uh, river uh, onto themselves. But um, but yes, I was there at the birth of that, and 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 uh, I, I think there's a special chemistry. They, I mean, Olga keeps begging me to work with them, but there's no possible way to put her in with the butcher.